Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a range comparison with the Mossberg FC2 Subcompact versus the Glock 43X. These align fairly well in terms of size and weight. 25 ounces loaded with each. They both have a 3.4 inch barrel and the trigger pull is about the same, five and a half pounds. And they both cost right around $450 on average. But the Mossberg MC2 Subcompact actually offers more. All these models come optic ready. They come with an 11 and 14 round mag. I currently have an 11 round mag in there. It has very nice grip texturing, three dot metal sights, forward serrations, a flat trigger there that as I mentioned, breaks right at five and a half pounds with a very short reset. So the Mossberg was evolved from the original subcompact to single stack and then they came out with this. The 14 round mag offers three finger contact, the 11 round mag offers two finger contact, but I like that grip texturing. Now what makes this a little unique, kind of a downside is the disassemble. You have to take that back plate off and pull out the striker assembly. Mossberg calls it a safe disassemble and it is. You don't have to pull the trigger or anything, but it's a more lengthy process and you have to get kind of good at it. So let's take a few shots with this and see how this All right. As I mentioned, offers a little bit more. A lot of people like this gun. I've heard great things from the viewers of this channel about the original, the single stack, and the MC2 subcompact. But now we have the Glock 43X. This has the PVD coating. If you recall, upon its launch, Glock came out with this with the silver slide. And some people liked it, some people didn't like it. Now they have various colors and frames and everything else. But most people are getting black. It's also now available optic ready. This one is not. Right around $450, similar to the Mossberg model I just showed. Two 10 round mags. A lot of people love the Shield Arms mags, but that is an additional cost. And you know, the trigger, the sights, everything that has to be switched out is an additional cost. It has forward serrations. It's two ounces lighter than my favorite Glock, which is the Glock 26. That's my favorite Glock. Although I do appreciate this. now. When Glock came out with this, it was met with a lot of excitement. Same with the Glock 48. A five and a half pound trigger that is very familiar to people who own Glock and very familiar to me as well. Breaks down much easier than the Mossberg. Similar specs overall. Two 10 round mags in the case, 450 on average. Let's take a few shots with this. All right, both of those were shot with steel case tool ammo. So when I do these range comparisons, I always ask which one would you choose? And I also give my thoughts and opinions on each. As I mentioned, the MC2 subcompact offers more. Uh, 11 and a 14 round mag. Nice grip texturing, all are optic ready, three dot steel sights. Here we have the Glock. Now we can talk about reliability. I think a lot of people feel more comfortable with a Glock. In this case, if I had to choose one, and I really don't have to because I have both of them, but if I had to choose one, I'm going with the 43X. And that may surprise you because I said this has more features, but this is the first time I shot these side by side. It was not a lot of shooting, but a little bit, and I felt more confidence with the Glock 43X. So in this comparison, I'm going with the Glock 43X. I still respect the Mossberg. I think it's a nice handgun, but I shot better with the Glock, so I'm going with that. My question is, which one would you choose? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.